Hey guys, uh, here's the final step. Um, we're going to be exporting our weapon now. And uh, at this point, you will have modeled it and uh, skinned it to the bones, like so. And you made sure it's the right name. Uh, right name for the clip. Uh, you move the locators that you need to. And uh, yeah, just about ready to export. So I'm going to go in here and make sure these guys are parented to those bones. Looks good. These are separate meshes, and they are named the correct thing. So at this point, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to just export. I'm going to select the folder. I'm going to export it out. Uh, make sure these settings are right. Um, that is all in the text guide, so check that out. Uh, export that. And at this point, you're going to want to open the converter. So uh, real quick, all you really need to do, get in here and import your weapon. Now, um, for me, I accidentally lost the quads model on this laptop I'm using. Uh, I have it at home, but right now all I have is the model in triangles. Uh, for editing purposes and all that, you're going to want to keep your model in uh, quads, and uh, that's because this actually has an option to triangulate them in here. When you guys start uh, releasing mods for this, I think the best idea for everyone is to release the FBX file. Uh, because of the way packaging works. Um, so people wanting to replace every weapon are going to need to package them themselves. Uh, that, I'll explain that a bit later. And uh, so I have all these selected. You can see I have both meshes in here. I'm going to start out with the main weapon, which is this mesh here. And I'm going to hit convert. And that's uh, after I selected the correct shader. So this is going to go through here and uh, crunch all this stuff for us and uh, be thankful because this step is made way easier than it used to be at the beginning when I started testing these. You had to do some uh, command prompt type stuff and I'm just terrible at keeping all that track, uh, keeping track of all that rather. Um, so this is really nice and it's really convenient. So now we're going to want to select the clip and this is important. Um, Maya does not preserve dashes in the name, and this actually needs to be a dash. I'm going to convert that part. It'll give us a nice little sound when it's done. Okay, sweet. So um, at this point, we have converted our weapon uh, into the right files, and all we need to do is package it. So I'm going to assume you guys are using the template weapons, and so the pack files are provided for you in the templates. So all you need to do is copy these and put them in your packaging folder. So I'm going to paste these here. Now, uh, this is described a bit more in the text guide, but um, a lot of the weapons, uh, the base weapons at least, are modifying these same ASM files. So when you're going through here and you're, you're um, packaging them up, um, you're adding the information for your new modified weapon to these ASM files. Since there's multiple modifying this same file, you're going to need to go through an order and make sure you um, have the right order of operations on modifying this. So let's say I have this SMG, and um, I modify it, and then I get an ASM that's modified with the information from this. And then I want to do a shotgun replacement. So when I bring the shotgun in, it's going to be editing that same file. Um, so you want to make sure... Um, if you guys are replacing multiple weapons to keep track of that, because uh, otherwise um, it could get a little mixed up, and then you suddenly have one without the right files, um, without the right file data. So maybe accidentally you do the shotgun, but you you replaced the original in here. You replaced with the original, rather. And then all of a sudden it doesn't have the information on the new SMG you made. I hope that made sense. <laughs> It kind of did to me, but um, check it out. These are the original game files. This has the MP5 looking guy. So you're going to put them in here and uh, actually ignore these. I'm going to delete that. Ignore that. Um, so you're going to want to select this packaging folder that has these. And it's going to pack our new files into all of these. It's going to modify them and it's going to put the originals in backup. If you screwed up your model and you want to get those in there real quick without having to go to the pack files in the templates again. So at this point, all I need to do is hit package. 
for the template files, the whole process is, is pretty simplified. Um, modifying any of the other ones that aren't included in the templates is a little bit of a trickier proposition because you're going to need to go in, you're going to need to figure out the name of the clip, the name of the mesh, and you're going to need to find the right um, STR2 files and the right ASM files that uh, correspond with the STR2 files. Again, kind of detailed um, somewhat briefly in the documentation there. So these are my modified files. You can see when it was modified and it made a backup of the originals here. And I'm gonna control copy and paste them into the root folder of Saints Row 4, which should be the same for everyone, common Saints Row 4. Now, really all I have to do is launch a game and see how it looks. So let's go in game. All right, guys, I got the game loaded up, and as you can see, my weapon is in the game and working. Uh, when I move around, his hand adjusts to hold the silencer there, and then I'm going to fine aim here, show you the bolt animating and the muzzle flash going off and the uh, shells spewing out. You can see the little red dot sight that uh, carried over from the template weapon. Um, uh, as you can see, it is the heavy SMG, the SWAT SMG, rather. And, uh, yeah, if you guys had any trouble um, bringing your weapon in, feel free to hit me up. I am Don Honk on Twitter and also at the SaintsRowMods.com forums. Um, I prefer if you had any problems to post over at the forums because that way we can all learn from our collective mistakes. And uh, hopefully people will be able to look at those threads and um, figure out if they're having the same problem and all that. So... Have fun, guys. I know there's going to be some really cool stuff you guys are going to put out. And uh, I'm going to be wanting to make more stuff here in the future. And uh, just go out there and shoot some dudes with this stuff. Check it. Yeah. It's great. Um, but, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'll be seeing you in the next Mod Tools release, the next SDK release, which I believe is NPCs. That's going to be really cool. I'm really looking forward to clothing as well. I think a lot of you guys are going to be looking forward to that. Um, so, yeah, enjoy. Ow. Oh, oh thank you.